Based in the Southwest, the FAST cluster is a group of organizations from across science, academia, industry, and government looking at how advanced technologies in areas such as robotics and autonomy can open up new ways to monitor and make the most of the precious marine environment. The city of Plymouth in southwest Devon has a long and proud heritage of maritime exploration and pioneering spirit. As Britain's ocean city, it's home to the largest cluster of marine scientists in the country, and in recent years has become an epicentre for the development and application of advanced marine technologies, including autonomous robot vessels, cutting-edge smart platforms and a range of other ocean-going innovations. The FAST cluster comprises of industry, academia and local governments. It's really the coming together of those three significant sectors to collaborate and deliver into the maritime industry in marine autonomy, high-end marine technologies. Bringing together more than 30 organisations from across the South West, FAST has its origins in Smart Sound Plymouth. This multi-million pound initiative, led by Plymouth Marine Laboratory, enables advanced marine technologies to be tested in real ocean environments, using a network of carbon neutral monitoring platforms. Plymouth has been the centre for marine innovation for hundreds of years. Smart Sound Plymouth actually covers probably the best understood piece of water in the world. We have a real concentration of marine research here. Uh, we're probably one of the leading locations for that globally. Uh, that, this is also probably one of the reasons why the FAST cluster has established itself here, with all of the businesses that are working in autonomy, cyber security, clean propulsion and all of the various elements that we're focusing on today. Joining the consortium has made sense for companies like Unmanned Survey Solutions, one of the cluster's key USV manufacturers. USS are reducing maritime CO2 emissions by building and operating highly versatile and efficient uncrewed surface vessels. USS also lead a subgroup of the FAST cluster, working with the Maritime Coast Guard Agency on future regulations for these types of vessels to ensure safe operations at sea. And as sustainable technologies become increasingly important, another FAST member, Frontier Technical, is developing floating offshore wind turbines to bring renewable energy to remote coastal communities. Autonomous energy transfer shuttles will deliver the stored energy from the turbine to these remote coastal communities. We have predicted that the ocean economy will double in growth to 3 trillion US dollars by 2030 and it's very much about measuring the ocean. You can't determine whether any activity in the ocean environment is genuinely sustainable unless you can measure it. We have to fundamentally understand ocean processes and we do this by using our autonomous platforms but by engaging with the FAST cluster and a much greater group of companies we can develop systems of higher, higher resolution that will genuinely meet the needs of that growing global ocean economy going forward. Autonaut are pioneering state-of-the-art wave-propelled unmanned boats loaded with environmental sensors. This includes the PML Pioneer, a key part of Smart Sound Plymouth. TALIS is also part of the consortium and operates the Maritime Autonomy Centre which tests next-generation technology for the Royal Navy. But the development of autonomous shipping technology will require navigation systems to match. And the UK Hydrographic Office says being part of the cluster benefits everyone involved. For over 200 years, the UK Hydrographic Office has supported safe navigation through defence and commercial ships across the globe through the production of charts and publications. Being a member of the FAST cluster is a huge advantageous benefit to the UK Hydrographic Office. It gives us access to innovators and industry leads in the autonomous vessel sector. We've been providing uh, bespoke data sets to the FAST cluster members, such as high resolution grid bathymetry, uh, machine readable tidal data, which has been crucial in the research and development of autonomous vessel navigation. The FAST cluster provides a great opportunity. It brings together platform manufacturers, platform owners, sensor manufacturers, system integrators, all allowing those consortia of companies to come together to develop marine autonomous systems for specific applications. And by embracing this collaborative spirit, great things are starting to happen.
So it's a really exciting time now. There's so many opportunities in marine autonomy and technology. The Fast Cluster is uniquely placed to deliver solutions across those industries. And then going forward, the critical mass in Plymouth, what's happening in Plymouth as a centre in the UK for how we deliver marine technology solutions going forward. And as a marine scientist in working here at Plymouth Marine Laboratory, the, the possibilities of how we move forward in monitoring our marine environment through autonomy, artificial intelligence, and in a sustainable carbon neutral manner is just amazing in the opportunities that we've got. Making sure Plymouth, Britain's ocean city, remains the centre for marine innovation.